This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you from the 45th Annual New Orleans Investment Conference 2019 here in New Orleans. I have today on the program Andrew Pollard from Black Rock Gold Corp. It's a publicly traded company. I'm going to give you two symbols. BRC on the TSXV and BKRRF in the U.S. Andrew, welcome to SNN Live. My goodness, good to be here, Shelley. It's good to have you. Thank you. Let's get started with an overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Right. Uh, so, yeah, BlackRock Gold uh, is a Nevada-focused gold explorer. It's, uh, we, we've got the Silver Cloud Project, uh, which is located right on the northern Nevada Rift, and it's a former tech and plaster dome project, which we're following up on. What's some history behind the company? Yeah, so the history is uh, we've acquired a uh, the rights to a former tech and plaster dome project um, right on the northern Nevada Rift. It's right directly adjacent to uh, Hecla's Hollister and Midas Mines. Uh, it's about a 40 uh, square kilometer land package and um, hasn't been explored in 15 years due to a really onerous uh, deal that was attached to it. But previous to that, and two small rounds of drilling by tech and plaster dome yielded grades up to 158 grams per ton um, over a meter and a half, and we're just picking up right where they left off. So what would you say is the company's competitive advantage? Well, listen, we're on one of the uh, highest grade known gold belts on the planet. Uh, we've got a huge land package, and we're literally picking up right where Tech and Placer followed up on. So we're drilling right now, uh, and our first hole is uh, we're, we're going right back to where Tech encountered 158 grams per ton, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some, something similar. Are you drilling? Yeah, so we're in the midst of a 2,000 meter four hole program as we speak. Uh, assays are pending on our first sure. hole. Um, effectively, what we're hoping to is uh, establish uh, what could amount to about two kilometers of high grade strike potential between where Tech and Placer uh, had their high grade discoveries, and um, that's what we're doing right now. Well, you mentioned a couple of companies that sound like elephants, mm -hmm. so tell me more. Well, uh, listen, uh, Hollister and Midas, uh, those are two companies which, well, Midas was a discovery uh, or, or a, a former Franco Nevada project was, that was such a good story that it made Franco Nevada change her business model and get into the mine building business. Um, Hollister uh, has been producing for something like 20 years on and off with uh, head grades above 30 grams per ton. I mean, these are some of the highest grade known um, gold deposits on earth uh, and we're, we're literally circled by them and we're a project is, it's right at the northern uh, tip of the Carlin trend. So the Carlin has some of the largest gold mines on the planet, and the northern Nevada Rift has some of the highest grade gold uh, mines on the planet, and we're dead center. We've got a piece of land that's been tied up by Tech and Placer, uh, and uh, for, for just a series of reasons which only seem to happen in mining, it's been tied up and hasn't seen the light of day for a long time, despite wild results previously. So yeah, we ripped up the old deal on it, and we've got the cleanest deal on this since Tech originally did the lease. So. So, logistics. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get any better. Listen, there's lots of big yellow trucks driving right by her project, hauling ore every day. Um, you, you know, Nevada is a mining state. Um, so, logistics, personnel, uh, access, water, everything's there. Uh, permitting's there. You know, we can get things done uh, uh, swiftly, that, more swift than I can actually do things. So, it's, uh, it's, it's perfect. Tell me a little bit about the team. So I first joined the company back in May of this year and, and as CEO and president. Uh, my first job was to get someone um, that I was absolutely swinging for the fences and, and by that I brought the former head of, uh, Plas of exploration for Placer Dome uh, who had oversight over all of their Americas um, at the time. Placer was the third largest gold company on the planet and um, the person I brought was uh, Bill Howald. Now what's really significant about that to investors is that at the time Bill was with Placer is also the, the, the time that they had the project. So so he was uh, among the last people to drill it and actually oversaw a discovery on the project back in 2003. Uh, he's picking up right where he left off. He realizes, um, uh, well, he's benefiting from about 10 to 15 years worth of new data in the form of geophysics and geochem. And um, he, we're, yeah, we're, we're uh, off to a good start so far. So as a public company, only going on guidance you've given and press releases, what are some growth drivers for the future? assays. We're targeting high-grade gold. Uh, drills are turning right now uh, and uh, what we're hoping for is uh, uh, something in line, well, something in line with what Tech and Placer had. So we'll see. Uh, we've got a new geologic interpretation and if it's right, um, then we'll, we'll be able to tell very quickly with the drills. 
Andrew, let's get your website out for our investor audience for more information. Yes, it's uh, blackrockgoldcorp.com. So www.blackrockgoldcorp.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Pollard, BlackRock Gold Corp, publicly traded company, symbols, BRC on the TSXV, BKRRF in the U.S. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live coming to you live from the 45th Annual New Orleans Investment Conference 2019 here in New Orleans. Andrew, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much, Shelley. Good to have you. Cheers.